We keep hearing the global health community talking about strengthening health systems, but what exactly are health systems? Stay tuned and find out. This is a YouTube channel for people that are excited about global health. If that's you and you want to make the world a better, safer, healthier place, then this is the place for you. Please subscribe if you haven't before. Now in this episode, we're going to take a closer look at the building blocks of health systems. I'm going to give you a way to remember exactly what those building blocks are and to understand exactly how it is that they work together. But first, a big thank you to the University of Maryland's Graduate School. Thank you for your support. I couldn't do this without you. The University of Maryland's Graduate School offer a fantastic online global health certificate. So if you're interested in studying further, but the idea of taking time out of your career or time off work is just not possible, then doing an online course is perfect for you. And look, I've been in your shoes. I wanted to do an MBA a few years ago, and the only way that I could do it was doing it as a distance learning online student. The University of Maryland's Graduate School offer a one-year certificate program, which if you want to study further, can be applied to a master's degree in health sciences. So if that sounds interesting to you, click on the link in the description below to find out more. Let's talk about health systems. So what exactly is a health system? So briefly, a health system is all of the mechanisms and resources and processes that together meet the health needs of a population. And importantly, meeting the health needs of a population isn't just about people being able to access health services when they're sick. It's also about everything that needs to be put in place to prevent people from getting sick in the first place. Things like programs that are put in place to promote and facilitate healthy life choices and mechanisms put in place to protect people from environmental and infectious disease hazards. So now we're gonna take a look at what the building blocks, what the components of a health system are. And I'm gonna use a little metaphor that's gonna help you understand how this all fits together. When I was about six years old, I decided, as many of you will have, to go into the world of entrepreneurial capitalism by establishing a little popsicle stand on the pavement outside our house. And I think that the entire venture lasted about half an hour, which was more or less what my attention span was in those days. Now, if you can understand the components of a street side popsicle stand being run by a six year old, then you already know 90% of what you need to know to understand health systems at a country level. So let's first look at what it is that a popsicle stand needs. Firstly, you need a vision, you need leadership, you need management. And in this case, all of that was me. Next, of course, you need finance. You need some way to finance your operational costs. And in this case, I think between my and my sister's life savings, we had just about enough money to pay for one or two popsicles that we were gonna sell. So you've got your leadership, You've got your finance in place. The next thing you need is human resources. And for my popsicle stand, it was really just me and my sister, who I think was very cheap labor, if not completely free. The next thing we needed was inventory, right? So we've got the finance and we're paying for our human resources, which were quite clearly very cheap. We need to pay for the ongoing costs of the ingredients of the popsicles themselves. We had some fixed assets or infrastructure, and in this case, it was a table and chair generously donated by my parents. And had we been a successful popsicle stand, we would have needed a notebook to keep a record of which flavors of popsicle were most popular so that we could inform our future popsicle sales strategy. So now that you know how to run a popsicle stand, I'm gonna tell you why running a health system is exactly the same. Let's have a look. So the building blocks of a health system are, one, leadership management and governance. Two, health finance. Three, human resources for health. Four, health inventory. Five, health infrastructure. And six, health intelligence. Let's take a closer look at each of these quickly. First of all, leadership, management, and governance. Leadership is about setting the overall policy, the direction, the vision of a health system. Management is about coordinating available resources to achieve that vision and that policy. And governance is about having a transparent system of accountability. Health finance is really about where the money comes from, how it is that you find the money to do the things that you wanna do, and how it is that that money is allocated into the various programs. Broadly speaking, most health systems are financed in a combination of five ways, and that is, there's, there's general taxation, there's social health insurance, there's voluntary or private health insurance, there's out-of-pocket payments, and there's donations to charities. Most health systems use a combination of these five in some shape or form. Now, ideally, what you want from a healthcare financing system is a way that ensures that people can access healthcare and that people aren't subject to financial catastrophe or impoverishment. There are places in the world where the number one reason for going into abject poverty is unforeseen health expenses. Next, human resources for health. 
And this is really about getting the right number of staff and the right mix of staff. So the right ratio of doctors to nurses to lab staff, etc., etc. Next, inventory. Now this is really about the consumables that gets used up by the health system on a day-to-day -day basis. Things like medicines, diagnostics, vaccines, etc. Now to get this right so that you don't have stock outs and you also don't have oversupply and, and, and warehousing problems, what you need is a robust procurement and supply chain management system. And this includes, firstly, demand forecasting, knowing what's gonna, what you're going to need. Then product selection, which products best meet those needs. Then you need to budget, you need to procure, you need to ship, warehouse, distribute and have inventory control management system in place. And each one of those steps can be quite complicated. Take product selection for example. When products are selected, people need to take into account the safety, the efficacy and the cost effectiveness of those particular products relative to alternatives. So basically it's everything that needs to be done to ensure that the right product is in the right place at the right time in the right quantity. Next, infrastructure. Firstly, there's physical infrastructure. You need to have the right number of hospitals, clinics, laboratories, etc., and you need to have them distributed in the country in a way that makes sense given the geographic and de demographic distribution of the population in that country. And then superimposed upon that, you need technological infrastructure. So things like the right information and communication technology that's in place so that the whole system can work together properly. And finally, health intelligence. Health intelligence is really all about capturing and using timely and reliable data and information that'll support health decision making. And this health intelligence should feed back and inform both day-to-day -day clinical decision making and the overall health policy and strategy for the country as a whole. Importantly, all of these building blocks are interrelated and interdependent. If there's a shock in any one of them, all of them suffer. So for example, in a hospital, the inventory, like the medicines and diagnostics and vaccines, and the staff, the people, the doctors, the nurses, only work optimally when they're both properly in place. Medicines can't prescribe themselves and a prescription when there's a stock out is just a piece of paper. And that is health systems in a nutshell. Now, you're sitting down anyway, don't go away, stay and watch another video. And subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Leave a comment below or leave a question below. I promise to respond. And again, a big thank you to the University of Maryland's Graduate School for their support. Thanks for watching, take care.